Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Brick Games, where we cover all the latest in the LEGO video game series created by TT Games. And this time we're playing LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, and we're going to be getting all the mini kits and the red power brick in the last level of Episode 3, the last level of the prequel trilogy, Darth Vader. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so at the beginning of this level, you're going to have this little sequence where you have to run towards the camera. It's a little bit annoying. This is my favorite level in probably the entire LEGO Star Wars games, but... This beginning parts can be a little bit frustrating to jump on all the right things, but boom, right there on the left, there's going to be your first mini kit when you get a little bit wider of a platform there. So in the next room where you're timed, go over here to the left and use the force on these two little switches or knobs, whatever you want to call them, that will cause the, the glass to break there and there will be a mini kit behind there. Then next up is we're going to go for the red power brick to give you that precious extra that you want. So here use an R2-D2 droid. I like that panel on the wall. like. The R2-D2 panels and C-3PO panels don't really look like that anywhere else. But right there on top of that table, that's going to be your red power brick for the level. So there you go. And then moving on, more mini kits. You, uh, use the force on that little switch. And inside there is going to be the next mini kit. Then the next mini kit after that is going to be... Uh, we have like three mini kits all clustered here. So just destroy that little wall there with a lightsaber or something. And the mini kit's going to be in that little chamber there. Then back here where all these studs are, there's going to be a mini kit there. I know it looks kind of confusing because I've already collected the mini kit, but... There is a uh, mini kit back there, and boom, right there, you couldn't have missed that one. There's a mini kit right in the next area, and then right behind there is another mini kit. You probably got those two on your story mode playthrough because they're, like, impossible to miss. But over here on the right, when you get to the lava section, there's going to be a mini kit there, and then if you move over to the left on the opposite side, you have to be kind of quick because you can't stand on those platforms for too long. Boom, there's another mini kit there. And then there's just one more mini kit left we need to get, so get on top of this big tower thing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it and use an R2-D2 droid or a Django Fett to grapple over there, or fly over there, I should say, and that will be the last mini kit. So that's all the mini kits for the prequel trilogy of LEGO Star Wars, and uh, we're going to be moving on to the original trilogy here soon, so be sure to subscribe to be notified right when the newest videos come out, and like this video if, this, if you enjoyed it or if it helped you, you know, collect all the mini kits, and I'll see you guys next time.